And actually, you're kind of putting me in peace because I've been in hell for five years. Fun times, you know. <laughs> For those that don't know, after they chop my head off and they continue the rest of the scene, they tell me to lay on the ground. <laughs> Two and a half hours, I wake up, I fell asleep. <laughs> I wake up, they've all gone to lunch. I'm in an empty room. <laughs> Thanks, sports. You know, like, really? Thank you. Doesn't matter. After lunch, I hit the camera. It was cool. <laughs> I did. Who? what, huh? Right over here. Hey, I have a question, totally off subject. How's the electric cigarette? <laughs> oh my, you, you know what? I, I have not touched a cigarette or marijuana in like uh, six plus months. Oh, wow. I haven't missed it. And uh, this is fun for me. It's actually kind of silly, like you, you look forward to buying another flavor and trying it out. Like, it's because I always, I, I still think smoking is cool, and I know it's not, but I just think it is. I've seen too many old movies where, like, <laughs> you know, like it, it, it just, it's, it's cool. I, you can't tell me it's not, and it feels good, and and so like the, my hands kind of thing. I don't know, if it, like something to do, and. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of quite fun, and it's really hilarious when you get to be on it. Like you go from like like villain to hero. Like you're on an airplane, and you're like, ah. <laughs> 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 like ah, oh, thank you, <laughs> you know, like thank you. It's like yeah, for my water vapor breath would be, <laughs> you know. So it's nice like that. Like you, you like yeah, check it. You, do it all the way through the airport and on the plane, blow in the stewardess's face, and it's like, fantastic, your feet is down here, Sarah. Shut up, up and let me get in my seat. I don't ever say this, but I'm, I'm more polite than that. That's a good uh, But yeah, I love it. I thought you were going to ask me about an Well, I could. That, that's coming later. We got, that's a one on one. All right. You know what though? Actually, I'm not Jeff Gordon. Oh. In the black SS with the navigation. <laughs> you could do it. We could do it. Let's see this weekend. Yeah. Oh. And if he wins five times. Yes. Uh, hello, Jimmy Johnson. Uh, who's the greatest of all time? You might have won consecutively, but somebody else came back and after a decade and won it. Uh, Go 24. Anyway. Hello. Hello. How to deal. Um, it was actually bizarre because we were in Toronto and it was the year of the World Cup. And there were two. I was I was pigeonholed in the freaking 28th floor of this hotel. Now again, the, the World Cup was taking place in South Korea and Japan, so the games were going on at all these weird times of the night. And at one point, at like six in the morning after shooting. I hear this like hum, ee, 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 ee. I look out and I see two naked Asian guys just busted it up the street. Behind which there is this full procession of Japanese and Korean flags, which was just awesome. And then the other time was we actually had a, 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 a cast and crew barbecue with, with and Mandy was there and, and Alex Holden who plays her best friend. And it's the same thing, like the, the Koreans won. And they were doing another improv too, like, boom, like, get your mask and let's go, man. Like, they, they, they held this, this, this procession. And I grabbed her and I was like, screw it. Bye, everybody, we're going to the parade. And, like, it was so cool because all of a sudden this person was very, mm mm mm. It's like being manhandled by, like, crazy people. <laughs> like, yeah, we did it, we win. And they were just, this is like four in the morning and just going up and down the street. And it was it was such a festival like atmosphere because um, I mean Canada is a pretty amazing place in general, but like in terms of immigration, it's like very it's just incredibly multinational. Um, so like Toronto has I believe more countries in it than New York does, and so you know you've got like Brazil going crazy, and then like shutting down those stores, and Italy's like what, and that really was the the thing that pervaded throughout shooting that movie. 
Um, if you want a real kind of thing from actually shooting it, then at four in the morning when we're shooting, and the director's like, I need you to just give it this line, just do it this way. And I, like, we spent all day shooting here and I'm exhausted, and I, I've said this one before, but um, I, I was like, I can't, I don't have it emotionally in me. And I start thinking about BLT, <coughs> like bacon, lettuce, tomato, like overripe tomatoes, like, and I, I look at her and I'm like, you know, don't ever give that fun. And all I'm thinking is BLT. <laughs> And the director just runs up to me and she hugs me and kisses me. He's like, that was perfect. That was, that was cool. And I go to the hotel now and have what I dream of. Like, please, we've been shooting for 18 hours. Um, the whole thing was a blast. It, it, re it really was like, I, I think that as an actor, sometimes you don't realize what you're blessed with when you're in that moment. That's for sure. That was, that was early on. It was a long time ago, like you say. It's cool to. It's cool to be the guy. <laughs> Take care of somebody. It's, it's a nice feeling. People pay you to think that you're a boyfriend. We gotta get out of here now, or are you gonna hit your own back? Yeah. You yeah. said paying to make you a boyfriend, I was coming to make you offer. <laughs> <laughs> Staff. I was going to embarrass them by telling them the story, but we were watching live and Trent was on and that's the live. <laughs> so we're all sitting on the couch. The and, racist. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fun. You played a great part. It was just like real life. It was like hardly acting for this guy. <laughs> but we're all sitting on the couch and Virginia's sister's laying there like half asleep. And all of a sudden we go, we see Trent, we're like, Trent! Like all three of us at the same time. <laughs> like shit, he's banging in the window. <laughs> I got nowhere to go. Can I come in please? So that was funny. No, the weird thing with that is because like, I had tattoos on my neck and they made me keep them like in between shooting. And there are certain ladies who are kind of boorish for tattooed men. <laughs> <laughs> it was really weird. Like, I went to Target and I walked around. But it's like a chick and she's got like a three year old with her. And she's like, eh. Hey. She's like, she's never look at me. But just because I got this damn ink running down my neck, it's like I'm, you know, some Aryan supremacist or something <laughs> awful. You go, hey, I'm into that. Huh? <laughs> Give me that kid, and we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs>